this session we are going to discuss Bayesian learning. We will basically in this session will concept uh, concentrate more on the theory and con uh, concepts of Bayesian learning. In the next few sessions we will look into different types of Bayesian learning algorithms and problems with respect to that. So, so in this entire series of Bayesian, learn uh, Bayesian learning the objectives are we will be we'll try to understand the basics of probability based learning and probability theory. We will learn the fundamentals of Bayes theorem. We will uh, learn base classification models like brute force based learning algorithm optimal classifier. We will uh, uh, mainly focus on naive based classification models and uh, we will explore some problems and algorithm behind the naive based classification. We will also work on naive based algorithm for continuous attributes. And we will finally look into various different types of naive based classifiers. So today's session will focus main on the theory and concept of Bayesian learning. So let's first understand what is Bayesian learning. So Bayesian learning is a learning method which describes and represents a knowledge in an uncertain domain. So Bayesian learning mainly uses the probability measure to reason this knowledge. Bayesian learning mainly uses the Bayes theorem in order to infer these unknown parameters. The main applications of Bayesian learning is we can use it for reasoning and diagnosis, uh, applications like game theory, medicine, etc. Uh, the main advantage of going for algorithms which uh, employ Bayesian learning are uh, it's useful, the main advantage is it's useful in handling missing data and estimating uncertainty in predictions. Since Bayesian learning uses probabilities, mainly focused on probability measure, let's first understand what is probability based learning. This is one of the most practical learning methods in probability based learning. It's actually a combination of prior knowledge and prior probabilities with observed data. It uses a concept of probabilistic theorem uh, where we describe the randomness, uncertainty and noise. So probability based uh, learning is actually a very good tool for modeling the large data set and it mainly uses the Bayes rule to infer these unknown quantities. So let's understand what is Bayes theorem. So Bayes theorem is a fundamental concept in probability theory. Uh, it plays a very crucial uh, role in ma various machine learning algorithms like Bayesian statistics and probabilistic modeling. And uh, Bayes theorem mainly provides a way to update the probabilities based on new evidence or information. And uh, based upon that, it allows us to infer our belief in the hypothesis based on the new data. So when we are using Bayes theorem, we start with prior belief in the hypothesis. The prior belief is represented by P of A. And then we update this prior belief based on how likely the data are to be observed under the hypothesis. So the updation of this hypothesis is represented by probability of B given A. So P of A is the prior belief in the hypothesis and P of B given A is the updated belief of the hypothesis. Whereas P of A given B is the posterior probability. Basically, it represents the updated belief in the hypothesis after considering the data. So we need to note, uh, note these three concepts, prior belief and posterior probability. So the Bayes theorem equation is the theorem can be mathematically expressed as the posterior probability that is probability of A given B is equal to probability of B given A which is which means it is the likelihood of event B given event A dot probability of A. Probability of A is the prior probability of event A divided by P of B which is the total probability of event B. So this is the theorem behind the Bayes theorem. So probability of A given B is the posterior probability. Probability of B given A is the likelihood of event B given event A. P of A is the prior probability of event A and P of B is the total probability of event B. 
So there are two kinds of model. Bayesian learning is mainly focused on probabilistic model. So what is probabilistic model? In probabilistic model, randomness plays a major role. The opposite is deterministic model where you do not have any randomness. If it is a deterministic model, it will exhibit same initial conditions every time the model is run. So in this entire series of Bayesian learning, we are completely focusing on probabilistic model where the randomness plays a major role. So Bayesian learning is focused on probabilistic theorem. But what's the difference between Bayesian learning and probabilistic learning? See, Bayesian learning is uses a subjective probability. In the sense, the probability is based on individual's belief or interpre interpretation about the outcome of an event. And it can change over time. There are two practical uh, Bayesian learning algorithm, NABES, which, which we are learning in detail in this session. And we also have Bayesian belief network. So basically, Bayesian learning uses prior probabilities and it applies Bayes rule to infer this information. So let's try to understand the fundamentals of Bayes theorem. We will be largely learning about Naive-Bayes algorithm in this entire session. So Naive-Bayes basically relies on the Bayes theorem. So Bayes theorem basically works on three kinds of probabilities. That is prior probability and likelihood probability and the third one is posterior probability. So Bayes theorem is focused on these three kinds of probabilities. Prior probability is basically a general probability of an uncertain event before, before an observation is seen. So it's a initial probability. Whereas likelihood probability is, it is a relative probability. Relative in the sense, what is the relative probability of an observation occurring for each class? So if I say probability of A given B, so A will be the evidence and B will be the hypothesis. So it is basically the likeliness, likeliness of the occurrence of the evidence given the hypothesis. Then third one is the posterior probability, which is the updated probability or the revised probability of an event taken into account observations from the data. So it is the prob it is basically a posterior probability. So that is what we saw in the previous slide. So this is the uh, P of uh, uh, A given B is the posterior probability. P of B given A is the likelihood probability and P of A is the prior probability. So basically Bayes theorem is all about these three probabilities, prior probability, likelihood probability and posterior probability. Okay, so coming to the classification, now uh, when uh, classification using Bayes model, the posterior probability can be stated like this. So we just saw that posterior probability is probabilities of the hypothesis H given the evidence E. So basically this is the posterior probability and then we also have prior probability P. So you can write the posterior probability as probability of hypothesis H given evidence E is equal to probability. This is the likelihood probability. That is probability of evidence E given hypothesis H. This is the prior probability. That is probability of hypothesis H divided by the total probability. That is probability of evidence E. So this is an equation just before what we saw the Bayes theorem of how we can represent the posterior probability. Now the same thing probability of hypothesis for, for this equation what is P of hypothesis H? It is nothing but the prior probability without observing the training data. P of evidence E what is there in the denominator? The denominator is nothing but probability of evidence E. So it is also a probab prior probability of the evidence E from the training data set. It is also called as marginal probability and P of Evidence E given hypothesis H is a prior probability and pri what we are finally calculating is this that is probability of the hypothesis given the evidence which is the posterior probability. So we will be calculating the posterior probability using the first three concepts that is the prior probability, the likelihood probability and another prior probability. 
So this is the and equation uh, the base uh, theorem basically says that posterior probability is directly proportional to prior probability into the likelihood probability. Now there are other things that we will also be learning uh, called as MAP hypothesis that is maximum a posterior probability hypothesis where it is all about selection of the most probable hypothesis from a set of hypotheses. We will be learning this in the next uh, concept. So maximum a posterior probability represented as H of map. It is a hypothesis where you are trying to find which is the most probable hypothesis from a set of hypotheses. So uh, the most probable hypothesis is called as maximum a posterior hypothesis or H map. So it is a most probable hypothesis from a set of hypotheses. Using the Bayes theorem you can write H map as it is the maximum of H small h belongs to capital H where small h is the hypothesis which we have selected or which is most probable. Capital H is a total hypothesis for probability of hypothesis H given the evidence E. So this is nothing but the base theorem. We have just substituted the base theorem over here which, which we just learned before. So this is the posterior probability, this is a this is a likelihood probability and these two are the prior probabilities. We can also write that by neglecting this prior probability which is in the denominator you can say that maximum a posterior hypothesis is maximum of the uh, likelihood probability into the prior probability. Now there is also one more concept called as maximum likelihood hypothesis called as HML. So given a set of candidate hypothesis, if every hypothesis is equally probable, now in the previous case from a set of or from a total hypothesis, I am selecting the most probable hypothesis. But suppose all the hypotheses are equally probable, then only probability of evidence or uh, probability of evidence given hypothesis is used to find the most probable hypothesis. So the hypothesis that gives a maximum likelihood is called as maximum likelihood for hypothesis HML. So we will be finding this HML when all the hypotheses in a given set of hypotheses are equally probable. So that we call it as HML. Okay. So that is represented as again as maximum or small h belong to capital H. So what we uh, the difference that we see here is well, as compared to this, now we will be neglecting the other two parameters. So we will just have your maximum of probability of evidence E given hypothesis H. So we are not considering the prior probabilities to find the HML. Okay, so this is the equation for finding the maximum likelihood hypothesis. Okay, so let's since we are talking about Bayes theorem, just quickly revise what is. We'll just do a simple problem on Bayes theorem. So let's say there are two events A and B. Event A is having these many true and these many false. Event B is having these many false and these many true. So what is the probability of occurrence of A? That is how many trues are there? One, two, three, four, five out of total eight. So probability of uh, a probability of A is 5 by 8 and probability of B is there are 4 trues here so 4 by 8. So what is the probability of A given B? Probability of A given B is you have to find it is 2 by 4. So how do you find this? Probability of A given B is equal to probability of B given A into probability of A divided by probability of B. It is given here probability of B given A is 2 by 5. So 2 by 5 into 5 by 8 divided by 4 by 8 will give us 2 by 4. Similarly, probability of B given A is, what is probability of A by A? 2 by 4. So 2 by 4 into 4 by 8 divided by 5 by 8 will give us 2 by 5. This is how you can find Bayes theorem. So let's take a statement problem. So consider a boy who has a volleyball tournament on the next day. He feels sick. So it's unusual that there is only 40% chance that he would fall sick since he is healthy boy. 
Now find the probability that the boy participating in the tournament. The boy is very much interested in the game so there is 90% probability that he will participate in the tournaments and there is 20% probability that he would fall sick given that he participates in the tournament. So first write down the given data. So first find out what is the probability that the boy is participating in the tournament. So that is 90% right? 90% probability is there that he would participate in the tournament. What is the probability that he is sick but still he will participate in the tournament. So that is given here as 20%. Then what is the probability that he is sick? The probability is sick is 40%. So the, we have to find the probability of the boy participating in the tournament given that he is sick. So that will be probability of boy participating in the tournament given he is sick is equal to probability of the boy participating in the tournament into probability that he is sick given he is participating in the tournament divided by probability that he is sick. So I have used here the base theorem. Okay. Now we know all the values on the right hand side. So this is 0 0.9 and this is 0 0.2 and the denominator is 0 0.4. So when you substitute there is a 45, you get the answer as 0 0.45. So there is a 45% probability that the boy will participate in the tournament given that he is sick. Okay, so that's it for today's session. In this today's session, we had a quick revision of the Bayesian learning concepts. We mainly got an introduction of Bayes theorem and a problem with respect to this. In the next session, we will focus on Naive Bayes theorem. Thank you so much.